I'm here at USAR 2014 at UCLA, and I'm speaking with Paul Galili. Hi, Paul. Hi. One other thing that I'm trying to currently help with is a new uh, website I started called r-users.com, okay. which is uh, basically an R job board that try to help people out. So because I have this uh, access to R bloggers, I am able to redistribute uh, to the R community the need for people in, in workplaces. So it's a resource for uh, employers who are trying to look for R users into their company. And, and they may say, you know, I want someone who knows R and JavaScript and C++ and sure. Hadoop or whatever. Uh, but I'm trying to look for these people. Where can I find them? And, and this has been very successful s so far. So that's a, so nobody else Not very successful, actually, somewhat successful so far. So, so nobody else has actually spoken about jobs in R. Yes. Actually, you're the first person that, that I've spoken to that has talked about it. Yes. How is the job market for R developers? That's, that's a fascinating question, which is, again, the reason I started this website. Because uh, as with R bloggers, I was asking, who is writing about it? And instead of trying to look for it, I said, let's, let's make it very incentivized. Let's make people very incentivized to tell me of what they do. And R users is exactly the same thing. I was also curious because I feel when we're thinking about a community of open source, a very important aspect of it is money. Yeah. And, and I think it's a very tricky element because both sociologically and psychologically, how do you motivate people but not de-incentivize them? So there are a lot of there is research done in different communities when you give people money for a job they do for for free, would they stop doing it? Yeah. Would it dif would it make a difference on how they feel? Would they feel uh, if they don't get any money? Do they feel uh, unappreciated? So I think the motivation aspect is very very important in the R community, and I think money is not discussed that much. Mm -hmm. uh, well, but it's it, an academic community to a great degree. Well, but y that's true. It came from it sprung out from the academic academic uh, uh, community, but I think that uh, we want R to be combined and connected to many, many different other communities, which are also business-oriented uh, and also government-oriented. And in that, back, in that con in keeping that in mind, I think that we really want to help people find jobs and help employers find the people who use R, and also try to help it make it clearer for people who use R to know what they need for the job market, yeah, which right now, to be honest, none of us know. Yeah. I mean, if I were to ask anyone in the conference, I, I, I think there are very few people who would be able to tell me what they need to know, combined with R, to find a good, uh, a good thing to work with. And the website gives you a long list of uh, people who are offering jobs for people in the R community. So this way it makes it very simple, very easy for people that are introduced to the language to go on the website and say, ah, this is the type of technologies people are looking for. So I should uh, empower myself, not just with R, but also with C++ or Python or something else, which depends on the on the job market. Cool. Have you written a blog post about it yet? I've I've written several, and actually uh, there is a bi-weekly, meaning once every two weeks, I publish a post with all the new jobs, and it's been going on for several months now. So every every two weeks, I publish between two new jobs to ten new jobs, uh, and people are going into it. It has something like uh, 200 to 400 views a day. The website plus. 2,000 a day when I publish it on our bloggers, cool. so it's working really well.